Alright folks, Pitching Ace 88. This has been a long awaited game. As you all know, my affinity for Bioware is almost unparalleled. I love every game that they've done. Um, and believe it or not, I've never actually played this. Dragon Age Origin. I've heard a lot about it. Um, I had actually, when it first was released, I tried recording it. However, my computer at the time of release, I think like two or three years ago, maybe even four years ago, it was not able to run this and record. Now I've got a beefier computer. I'm going to be playing this. Not only am I going to be playing Origins, I'm going to be playing all the DLC. I'm going to be playing the second one. And then eventually I'll be definitely playing the third one. But this is going to be a long, long road. So let's play Origins. And so it is the Golden City blackened with each step you take in my hall. Marvel at perfection, for it is fleeting. You have brought sin to heaven and doom upon the world. Canticle of Threnodies, 813. So again, my knowledge of this game the is... The teaches us that it is the hubris of men which brought the darkspawn into our world. As big as others. The mages had sought to usurp heaven, but instead they destroyed it. They were cast out, twisted and cursed by their own corruption. They returned as monsters, the first of the Darkspawn. They became a blight upon the lands, unstoppable and relentless. The Dwarven Kingdoms were the first to fall, and from the deep roads, the Dark Spawn drove at us again and again, until finally we neared annihilation. Until the Grey Wardens came. Men and women from every race, warriors and mages, barbarians and kings, the Grey Wardens sacrificed everything to stem the tide of darkness and prevailed. Blood. This is awesome. It has been four centuries since that victory, and we have kept our vigil. We have watched and waited for the Darkspawn to return. But those who once called us heroes have forgotten. We are few now. And our warnings have been ignored for too long. It may even be too late. For I have seen with my own eyes what lies on the horizon. Maker. Help us all. So, Dragon Age Origins. <laughs> now we're going to be going to the character generation. So, the way I'm going to be playing this is I'm going to be a uh, dwarf. Because, I mean, who doesn't want to be a dwarf? And have you, as you've seen in Skyrim and some other stuff, I don't like playing the conventional uh, human classes. I find them, at least for me, to be a little bit boring. 
Um, but you can choose between human, elf, or dwarf. These are more warriors. I'm going to be doing, building more of a tank. Um, you can be a warrior, though, or you can be a rogue. I don't know why you'd ever want to be a rogue with a dwarf, but it is possible. Um, you can also be magi, uh, but again, we're going to be... This class, you can choose to be the commoner or the noble, but um, we're going to be the noble. It just makes it uh, easier, a little bit more fun, too, I think. Greetings. I like... You can choose many different presets. I like that preset. Of course, our name is going to be Ace. Now, points to spend. This is kind of an interesting uh, aspect. Again, this is very similar to Knights of the Old Republic, which I loved. Um, we're going to get our cunning up a little bit. Strength. Because we're tank, we're going to want our strength and our dexterity up quite a bit. Um, expert combat training. All this stuff is not for a uh, tank really um, this is all for uh, other stuff so we're really just going to do the uh, expert combat training um, I kinda like you can do a weapon I wouldn't do it archery I wouldn't do it with him you either two-handed or weapon and shield I'm gonna choose weapon and shield I'm gonna boost this up and also pick a warrior and because this is this is a passive right here so I want to just make him just a little bit better. Um, you can choose between all of these. Uh, we're definitely going to be on normal right now. If it becomes too easy, I'll, I'll increase a little bit, but I like normal. Deep beneath the Frostback Mountains sits Ozimar, the larger of two known remaining dwarven cities in the world. Ozimar was once the seat of a major empire connected by tunnels called Deep Roads, which stretched thousands of miles. The city now stands alone, cut off from the rest of the Dwarven ancestral lands by the Darkspawn incursion. Secure in Orzammar's impregnable construction, the Dwarven noble houses continue their centuries-old power struggles. Assassination and blackmail are commonplace, but the appearance of honor is paramount. You are the second child of King Endron of House Idukan, the ninth Idukan ruler elected by the noble assembly. You grew up in a world rife with political intrigue and have struggled against brothers and cousins for honor and prestige. Today, a feast celebrates your first military commission, the opening move towards real power in the ever-changing game of Dwarven politics. Greetings, my lord. You are dressed and ready. Excellent. I couldn't find the armor's matching dagger, but I scrounged up a rather fancy longsword. Do you wish to wear your shield to the noble's feast? Uh, yes. Let them see me as a warrior. Now, I don't... They don't have voice work, so I'll be doing some of the voice work. Um... Just as my reactions to it. Of course, if every other noble has a shield and three swords, you'll feel awfully underdressed. <laughs> you, my friend, are ridiculous. One can't take all this marching about and speech making too seriously. Moving on to the business at hand. The king expects you to make an appearance at the feast, but there's no rush. The noble family heads will spend hours boring your father with petitions and petty grievances. Well, what shall we do in the meantime? As part of the celebrations, permits have been auctioned off to members of the merchant caste who wish to sell wares in the Diamond Quarter. Lord Harrowmont has also opened up the provings for young warriors to test their mettle before tomorrow's battle. Perhaps we should go show them what single combat is really all about. And by we, I mean you. <laughs> I'll practice my cheering. <laughs> um... Oh, uh, you know what? Let's go see the merchants. Right behind you, my lord. The day is ours until the feast. Soldiers pass. So we can take some go gold. Gold is somewhat unique in this game. We'll be covering that a little bit later. Oh, here we go. Yeah. Just a 
whole bunch of codexes. I'm not gonna be going through all the codexes. There's are there are an absolute ton of them. This is kind of the interface scene. Now I have all of the DLC. I got the true ultimate edition um, that has basically everything. Um, and that being said, the lucky stone we're gonna keep that. Pearl of the Anointed, I like that. I like that. We're going to keep that just for the Constitution. This is Fatigue. Um, we'll we'll kind of go through that as, as we play through. Um, but this is our Long Sword. This is a two-handed weapon. We're not going to really use it. Uh, this is The Mace is more of like a two-handed one. Or uh, dual wielding, I should say. Exploration. So I, I'm really excited to get get into this game. I mean, it's just got such a rich. Uh, I am at your service. Such a rich place that they've kind of developed, and I really like the. Uh, Very well. Can't unlock it. All right, locked item. Lauren. Oh, oh, I'm sorry. I am so Shall be done. Huh. Alright, let's go check talk to this girl. Ooh, a mistress. I I'm sorry. I thought you were Prince Balin coming down the hall. I forgive me. Hmm. So who are you? She's uh it seems she's one of your brother Balin's newest um companions. Prince Balin <laughs> is attending the feast being held in Lord Iduken's honor. Yes, of of course. <laughs> it was presumptuous of me to think that he would return to... I am sorry. I will show myself out with your leave, my lord. Um, yeah, you may go. Thank you. I will go now. Okay, well, sh she seemed like she was really worried. Um, Dwarven Merchant Belt, okay. I'm not, a. Uh, I'm not really a mean guy, so... That chest is going to be locked for us. And until we get a rogue in our party that can unlock chests, we're going to be kind of SOL. Good day. I am proud to serve the Idukans. I am at your service. Pretty cool to be a noble already. Hello? What do you... Can't even talk to her. Alright, I guess she's too busy working. You sure you want to go to the feast now? Oh, whoops, I doubt nope. we can escape to see the provings once we're inside. Yeah, you're right. Um, let's go see the provings. I can't wait to see who's fighting today. I know, I'm actually looking forward to fighting. I, I hope I do get to fight. Of course they locked. Because they don't want us to go too far. Anyways, let's, your service. let's go to the diamond quarter. Your father has allowed the merchants to show their wares in the Diamond Quarter during these celebrations. Oh, so we can go check them out. I'm sure we can work this out reasonably. It's in the records. There's nothing I can do. Please, Master Volney. My work is accredited by the Shaper. These books are lies written by the enemies of House Volney. I write only what I find in the ancient records. Lord Iduken, you can vouch for my work, can't you? Your father loved my history of Iduk and Paragon King, Peacemaker. Gorham, does this scholar truly have my father's favor? Oh, I see. Ah, I greatly enjoyed that book as well. This worm has written a book that slanders my house. Um. Well, that is a serious charge. He deserves to die for what he has written of Paragon Vol. Whoa, 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 whoa. What exactly has he written? Bruntin. He says that Volney, the paragon who founded my house, known throughout the world as the greatest of men, was a fraud. Not precisely. When the assembly names a paragon, that man or woman is then, by definition, everything one can aspire to be in the world. 
They form their own noble houses and are revered as living ancestors. But paragons start off as men. Volney was more than a man. Let's see. Get to the... Uh... Get to the point. Why is Brunton so angry? Volney became a paragon by the narrowest margin uh... in history. One vote. A vote mired in rumors of intimidation, intrigue, and outright bribery. The records of that vote are kept in the shape of it and are a matter of fact. Not liking history doesn't make it any less true. Very true. Well, the scholar is right. You're taking his side? What if he published a book like this about your paragon, Iduken? Well, um... We're not. We're awesome. So... Iduken was a great man. And Volney was not? Must you disparage a paragon? You've made a huge mistake. That's okay. You can fight me later. That fool has no idea how weak his house is or how low he sits in it. Shall I have him killed, my lord? Whoa, 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 whoa. Uh, well, let's see what the scholar thinks. Well, historically, it has been prudent to eliminate a small threat before it becomes larger. Uh, yeah, but you know what? I'm not that prudent. Let the poor fool live. As you say. You've shown House Iduken a friend to research, history, and the glory of our people. Well, you'll remember this when you write of me. Of course. Heroism and pity for the small man have always been hallmarks of House Iduken. Now, I must try to make sense of these notes. Good day, Your Highness. And thank you. Oh, you're welcome. And, as like in any Bioware game, you can choose to be good or bad, and if you guys know me, we will be choosing good. My lord Iduken, you honor me by visiting my humble booth. May I show you my wares? You have something I might want? Not for a mighty warrior such as yourself, my lord, but perhaps a lady friend. I... I'll, I'll be silent. This looks to be mostly fabrics from the human lands. These merchants form alliances with those who have abandoned our ways to live on the surface. We trade our goods. It's a shame. I agree. Perhaps we should get going. Oh. So this is just for people to feel rich and stuff. Nothing beats a good set of steel. Nothing beats a good set of steel cutlery. Our trust follow, big brother. How surprising to run into you out among the common folk. Hey! Especially since duty requires that you attend our King Father at the feast today. Have you so little respect for him to disregard his wishes on a day set aside for you? Lord Harrowmont told me we wouldn't be needed for hours at least. Silence! If I want the opinion of my siblings second, I will ask for it. Yes, your highness. Dude! Stop talking to me, man. You got a weapon that you use at a carnival, man. Yeah, don't speak to him like that. I speak to lower houses and castes as they should be spoken to. Idiot. Now do as I say. Uh, how about no? Keep barking orders. I'm sure I'll care someday. Your lack of a sense of duty to your house is obvious. I can't imagine why you are receiving a commission. Cause I'm better than you. Tomorrow, I'll spend much time apologizing to the heads of the noble houses for the deaths of their children under your incompetent command. What? That's a bit harsh, isn't it, Trian? Yeah. As heir to the throne, it is my duty to impart wisdom and judgment upon those who need it. Now then, you get to the feast. <laughs> yeah, kiss my bleep, Trian. I'd advise you to watch that tongue, dear sibling. Father will not live forever. Come, Balin. Yeah, and neither were you, dude. That was fun. Nothing <laughs> like being talked down to by the next king. I will see. He means well. <laughs> you always defend him. I wish I had your understanding. <laughs> yeah, I just decided to talk smack to him because you know I can do that. I'm, I'm pretty awesome. So let's check this place out. Pretty cool, man. It rivals even the work of the Paragon Smith. What about that one? Nonsense. I doubt he's up to the task. 
I'm hey now. That... How the edges are rough and oh, I would love to end up with a red head. Would that Sir Blackstone were a noble? Hmm? Stand up straight. They're coming. Okay. What have we here? Two handsome, strapping noble lords. You both look so grand. And isn't this the man of the hour, the king's son? Who's your friend, my lord? Another noble from the honored house I do in? Why, why would you want to know? They're noble hunters, my lord. A man takes his caste from his father, and these women hope to bear a noble lord's son. If one is successful, she's raised up to concubine in the noble house to care for her child. It provides new sword arms for the house, and many nobles look favorably on such women. Oh. Oh, so you guys will sleep with any noble? You're the most appealing, obviously. Obviously. A noble from the best house there is. Handsome, too. Are you interested in a bit of bedded diversion? Really? Mm, yeah, maybe. Shall I come to your chambers after the ceremony, then? I talked to him first. I want him. He's looking for a woman, Telly, not a little girl. I'm oh, Marty, snap. and I know how to give my lord a night he'll remember. Really? Well, why do I have to just pick one? Oh, my lord has his energy about him. <laughs> there will be no three to a bed, if that's what you're thinking. We both require full experiences all to ourselves. If you think you can manage us both, though... Oh, really? Why? Well, both of you it is. This should prove most interesting. We will wait for you together, my lord, and show you the proper way to celebrate a princely commission. What? Oh my gosh. Well, I knew that there was some, uh... I can't wait, my lord. Ah, wow. Tonight. I'm speechless now. As you say. Wow. That is, uh... Very interesting. Uh, so yeah, so after this commission, um, looks like we might have some fun. Only the freshest food for your noble table. Okay. Lord Idukin, here, in my booth? I am so... Oh. <laughs> He's fainted. You make quite the impression these days. Is it hard to be the king's child, never able to just blend in? I hate it, I just wanted to talk. Sometimes. It's the price of power, I suppose. Shall we move along? <laughs> that was pretty awesome, though. I have to say. Most exotic wares in Orzammar! Greetings, my lord Idukin. I am so honored to have you visit my booth. I have a proposition, but I dared not approach. Yet oh. you dare now. It's alright. I'll hear him out. Very well then, speak. Um yes, just so. Here's the thing. What I mean to say is... It's alright, man. Sorry. So nervous. I had a dagger made for you as a gift for your first command. I uh, sent a messenger to deliver the dagger to you. Prince Trian had him thrown out. I don't know what offense he caused, but I had him beaten severely. Oh. You only had the messenger beaten? If it would please your highness, I would gladly have him killed. No, no, no. That won't be necessary. Then you will at least look at the dagger. Yes, of course. Here, here it is, your highness. That's an amazing piece, merchant. You do me much honor, sir. The blade has been crafted over a period of two years by masters of every art. I really? wish to bless the Lord's first command, and hope that someday, when he rules, he will wear it. Tree and his heir. He will rule when King Endrin returns to the stone. If the assembly wills it. Forgive me, sir, but whispers say the second child of Endrin will be chosen. Whispers indeed. It's a princely gift. If Trian recognizes it, though, it may send the wrong message. Or the right one, depending on your view. Ha <laughs> ha. Yeah, damn what Trian thinks. I'm gonna take that. Thank you. You bring uncountable honor to me. Yeah, it's not my fault he didn't want to take it. Uncountable gold to him if you wear that piece in public. Yeah, it doesn't matter, dude. That's awesome. Plus one, tier two. Heck yeah. Now what we can do is we have inspect. 
Damage 4.4. Uh, okay, so we're not going to use it, but hey, we can always sell it. Invest in the next great trade expedition. Oh, look at that. I missed this one. Nice. Hey, let's see if I can sell some stuff, actually. My lord. Now, nah, I'll sell stuff later. Most exotic wares in Orzammar. My lord, are you heading to the proving arena? Um, yeah, I was intending to watch the, the Provings. We have been charged with the task of escorting you to the Proving Grounds. I clean forgot about that. Forgive me, I should have informed you sooner. The King decided you were not to travel through the commons unguarded. Very well, if it pleases my father. Will we be leaving then? Uh, yes. We are at your command. Great. Now I'm gonna go with a whole bunch of entourage. Oh, jeez! The Proving. Well, anyways, guys, this seems like a great point to stop. And I will see you guys next time. This has been Pitching Ace 88. Over and out.